get that off. You can use two things. I've seen some people just do it with the case opener and they get it right down here and pop it off. Let's see. You need to get that little gap on that, but I want to scratch it. Got to get that gap started. So for that, we may use this. All right, I heard you go around here to do it. I'm looking for... There we go. Getting the gap in there. Don't want to cut my hand here. All right, I've used the little tool to get a bit of a gap there. See the gap? So then I can put the case tool in, looking through the camera to do this, and then pop. There we go. Out she comes. Look dirt. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the spring. See all that? Pretty dirty. So let's get a little q-tip and clean that out. Before we do that, we're going to remove this old bezel here. You see the lip. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get something underneath there, maybe something sharper than my fingernail, and pull out the old bezel insert. I don't know if you can see, but there's a lip from the bezel. And I can actually grab it, but it's it's stuck in there pretty good. So I might have to use a sharper exacto or something to try to break that seal. I don't know if you can notice, look at all this grime that's coming off as I'm running the blade. There's grime and glue and just garbage from years. She's coming now. She's getting out of there. That crap was glued on. Now, am I interested in saving the old bezel? Not really. The old bezel insert, that is. Not really. Ah, that is just strong, man. Strong. And there you go. junk. Gonna have to clean this off for sure. Alcohol and a little patience. Man, all that is off. There was a lot of grime in there, boys. A lot of grime. And girls. A lot of grime. Looks pretty clean now. Cleaning out the channel with a bottle brush used to clean a hydro flask straw. Get all that grime out of there. Very nice. Now we can put this back in. Now there's two notches, see? See the little pins here? There's two notches, so gotta line that up. Got the bezel there. Got all the junk out of it. Run that little bottle brush. One more time. Get the tripod. All right, run that little bottle brush one more time. There we go. See if we can press this on without the press. Nope, gonna use the press. All right, so this will hold the base very firmly. And this actually fits right on top of bezel. Put the bushing on first. Put the bezel on. There we go. Let's see. Beautiful. That gasket, it's got also got a rubber o-ring there. That's keeping it nice. 
Well, now let's see what our choices are. We'll move this out of the way. So you see, I want to have these brown bands on. Or the black ceramic. Go. That's great. Don't bend it. Ceramic sure does look nice, doesn't it? Hmm. All right. I think we're going to go with a ceramic. I'm going to get a toothpick and I'm going to put the contact cement right sparingly around the ring here that's all clean. And then I will put the ceramic bezel in it. Yeah, that sure does shine nice. So let's get some a toothpick and some Never a toothpick around when you need it. So when one's not around, we make one. Just want to get kind of a tip on that. I don't get too much contact cement. There, that's nice. Let's shake this up. One last time, here is the old bezel kind of beat. The, uh, I lost the loom insert that was in there, but I wasn't going to plan on using that anyway. Right. I'm not going to use this giant ass brush. That's for sure. Oh, it's leaving a trail. it away from the crystal. All right. See, I've got it spread around there. It's not on the crystal. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Uh, I look forward to seeing you all again in another video real soon. I know I made some mistakes on this. It's the first time. I'm going to learn by those mistakes, and the next time I'll be better prepared. Have a great night.